in this video i'm going to show you how you can save templates okay why is templates important let's say you just finished doing a work maybe exterior or interior it doesn't really matter okay and you like the way the work turned out you like the way the lighting is you like the way everything is actually and then you want to be able to easily do something like that not that you cannot do it again but you want to save time in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that using template for 3ds Max. All right. So this is a file that I used before in the past um, to do this tutorial. Okay. This is an exterior tutorial. If you have not seen it, be sure to check it out. It's, I'll, I'm going to put the link in the description and it's going to come out somewhere up there. Do where to check it out. All right. So this, let's say this is the type of like, you like this, this type of atmosphere. This is the type of, you know, view you want to be getting each time you want to do exterior. You can actually delete this building or delete the trees or the things you may not really need in your in your day-to-day -day render but then you can leave it in such a way that it's going to save your render settings and it's going to save your light mix all right so i'm going to show you how to do that right away i've already removed the building all right we can remove additional stuff i realized i didn't remove these things okay you can remove even everything if you want but i think i'm, I'm just going to leave it like this for now all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this scene as, okay? I'm going to save it as a template or whatever. Just call it um, exterior template. All right? Take note of where you saved it. Let me put it in export, okay? It doesn't really matter where you save it. All, it. all that matters is that you know where you save it so that when you want to, like, use this scene as your template file, you are able to do that. So now I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to new, and I'm going to say new from template, and I'm going to click open template manager. All right, now I'm going to click on add new, okay? And I'm going to select this one. I'm going to check a same file, then I'm going to go over where I said this is a stereo template, and I'm going to say open, okay? That's it. So I want to rename it. Just come over here and call it a stereo template. Sorry. Okay. So you can see it's up here. You can select image to fill the thumbnail. Let me find the... I think I'll just use this. Use this. So open. Now you can see it has changed the image of the thumbnail. All right. Okay, please do not set it at default. If you do, whenever you reset your 3ds Max file or you open a file, it's going to reset it to this. Okay, the original setup is still, you can see it's still the default. So after doing this, just say done. All right, now you can just come here and um, click on this one. It is going to open this scene again all over for you. You can see the file has open. This is a new file. You can see it's untitled. And when you go inside the render settings, you're going to see in the light mix that we have added here. All right. You can see our cameras are intact where they are. Okay. When you go inside the materials, you're going to see that our material are still in there intact. Okay, so this is how you can save your template. One advice I'm going to give you though is make your template as light as possible. If not, it is going to always make your file huge and um, very difficult to manage. All right, put the things you can put as a um, Corona proxy as Corona proxy. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to put a video in the description for you to be able to watch the tutorial and learn how you can do that. All right, so that's it for this video. That's how you can save out a template and load it in each time you want to start. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.